Hey everyone, David here with Headset Advisor, and in this video, we are going to do an in-depth review and microphone and speaker test of the Jabra Engage 75 convertible wireless headset. So let's get started right now. All right, so this is a DECT 6.0 wireless headset that's designed to connect up to five different devices. You got two USB ports, connect to two mobile phones or tablets, and also a corded desk phone. So it's designed to really consolidate everything into one headset. I can't tell you how many times I've come across people who have one wireless headset for their desk phone, another one for their mobile phone, another one for their you know computer, like a wired headset. So this actually saves you money and also just convenience uh, to connect all of those devices into one centralized uh, high quality wireless headset. So let's look at the specs. Jeff put up the specs here. So it looks like we have nine hours of talk time. We have a uh, wireless rating of up to about 350 feet of wireless range, utilizes DEC 6.0 and then the Bluetooth uh, connects to the charging base and utilizes DEC for, uh, excuse me, Bluetooth 5.0. It's gonna have a one year warranty. And uh, you have that five connectivity, uh, like I mentioned before. And also it has a convertible wearing style. So you have an ear hook, you have headband, or you have a neckband. You have your noise canceling microphone. And of course you have your call control, uh, increase, decrease volume, and then mute microphone buttons available. All right, now let's take a quick close-up look of this headset here. It is extremely lightweight. I mean, it's almost as light as a feather. Uh, they say 18 grams, which I'm not sure the ounce conversion, but I can just tell you it's extremely lightweight. And surprisingly, they get nine hours of talk time, which is uh, better than most comparable ones. Uh, wireless headsets that use DECT that are this small. It has the ear hook, um, and also it has this, um, it's kind of like an earbud. Let me just put it on really quick. So it just kind of goes slightly in the ear canal so that you can hear the speaker a little bit better. And later on in this video, I'm going to test this speaker so that you can hear what it sounds like. And then looking at the side here, let me get a little bit closer for you. There's those little bumps that you see at the top and the bottom that to increase and decrease your volume, you have your answer and end button. And then of course you have your mute button on the back here. So that is the headset. Then on the charging base, you actually have a, not sure you can see it, but it's a touch screen that you have quite a few options available. Using it is a little bit clunky, but it is uh, functional and you can have uh, those adjustments right on the base. There's quite a few adjustments you can make on the charging base. But what I find easier is just plug it into the computer and adjust it on the Jobber Direct software. So that's just the easiest way to adjust it. Some companies don't allow it, so you do have those options available right on uh, the charging base there. All right, so now let's get to the fun stuff. But before we do, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos like this. And also, if you're looking to buy this headset, make sure you use the link in the video description below. That helps support this channel. Also, if you need to find an another headset, like this one is an MSRP price of about $400. If you're looking for one that's maybe uh, not as fancy or not as expensive, we have so many different options available for you. We provide a free headset recommendation. I'll put our contact information on the screen and our website. Uh, they'll also be in the video description below. So you can check it out, email us, uh, live chat with us. We'd be happy to help provide that free recommendation. All right, so let's hook this up to the computer and see how this headset sounds. All right, so this is what the Jabra Engage 75 sounds like. As you can see, my voice is coming through this microphone. All right, so I'm gonna keep speaking here just so you can get an idea of this is what somebody would sound like on the other end of a Zoom meeting, a phone call, a cell phone call, um, whatever your 
uh, whatever device you're connecting to, this is kind of the audio quality that you can expect to hear. This headset, again, uses decked 6.0 wireless technology, which is not Bluetooth. Um, it is uh, just like a radio frequency, and that's how it talks to the charging base, and that's how you get the audio quality. Um, it does connect via Bluetooth uh, to the cell phone directly to the charging base, but as far as the headset to the charging base, it uses DEC 6.0. Now that may be too much technical jargon um, that you're not interested in, so let's just keep this microphone test going. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step this up, I'm gonna start playing some office noises, talking, typing, that type of thing in the background and switch to the external mic so you can hear how much noise canceling this microphone may do or not do, and I need your help. I need a comment from you in the video after we're done testing so that you can let us know how much or how well the microphone performed from your opinion. All right, so let's get started. All right, Jeff, go ahead and switch the mic to the, the Rode DSLR mic. So this is what it sounds like without the headset going on. And I'll let that run for just another second here. As you can tell, it's probably pretty distracting to hear my voice as well as that office ambient noise. All right, now we're going to the Jabra. This is what it sounds like with the same noise going on in the room here. Testing one, two, three. You wanna be able to hear my voice and not that distracting noise in the background. Ultimately, with a noise canceling microphone, that helps customers or people hear your voice loud and clear and not all that uh, disrupting noise in the background. And that's really what uh, makes you more productive with a wireless headset. Let me just turn that off. In addition to being able to type and do other tasks with both hands free, really boosts up that productivity when you use a wireless headset. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we are going to uh, put the speaker over the microphone here so that you can hear how this headset sounds as far as music quality, you know, audio quality uh, sounds like on the speaker. So let's do that now. All right, so how this is gonna work is I have this microphone here that um, is picking up my voice and I'm gonna play music at max volume on the Jabra Engage 75. So Jeff, go ahead and hit the music, make sure the volume is maxed again. All right, we're ready. So what did you think of the overall sound quality of the Jabra Engage 6075, excuse me? Uh, put it in the comment section below. I would love to hear your feedback. Did it cancel out noise and sound good? Or was it just okay to you? Um, I'm also gonna be doing some comparison videos with uh, the new Yealink WH67 and some other popular uh, comparable models from other brands. So make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on those future videos and comparison mic tests. Overall, this is a headset that can really combine a lot of uh, devices into one charging base, obviously lightweight. Um, some pros is that it is ultra lightweight. Uh, the wearing style to me is, uh, is nice, but there's other options out there that I find a little bit more comfortable. This is like a silicone cushion and doesn't have a lot of adjustment. And then the ear hook is bendable and you can really position it how you want. It's ultra lightweight. It's going to be comfortable probably for most people, but I just think that there's other designs that are a little bit better there but ultimately it's a personal preference. And then the headband too is, doesn't have a leather ear cushion like the others. It's just a silicone type cushion, which is cool because it's cleanly and will last a long time and ultra lightweight, but um, you know, it's, it's lacking a little bit for me. Just uh, my observation here. And then also the touchscreen, um, you know, it has pros and cons, but for me, it's 
uh, not the most ideal type of touchscreen, whereas I'll just adjust it, me personally, on the software, which works perfectly fine. Some pros, uh, more pros is that you can connect to so many different softwares uh, through the Jobber Direct software, such as Ring Central, Microsoft Teams, um, Avaya, Cisco. There's so many uh, platforms this headset is optimized for. And also you can connect to all of those five different devices all through one base. So you can really clean up the clutter in your base. And it's like a really small form factor uh, base here. So you really get um, a lot of value out of this small uh, formed uh, base and headset. And also like it just looks, look at the style, has a really nice design. Jobber always does a really good job of their products, especially as of, uh, you know, the last few years, they're coming out with some really great products. Overall, a uh, great headset, definitely worth considering. Again, if you're interested in this headset, make sure you use that link in the video description below. Hope you really enjoyed this video, found value. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. Really helps us out. And the more that you like, share, and comment these videos, it helps get this video out to more people so that they can see it. And so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you do that. It helps us out, helps other people out. We really appreciate it. Well, that's all I got for now. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you next time.